These volunteers are about to embark on a radical diet experiment. I've tried so many different things to lose weight. I really feel like this is my last opportunity. They're giving up real food and going on an extreme crash diet. Let the starvation begin. I'm hoping that everything is worth it. These soup and shake diets have long had a bad reputation. But some experts believe it's time to think again about the black sheep of the dieting world. If we look at people after one year, they're significantly lighter after following a very low calorie crash diet than they are just after regular dieting. Take a deep breath. I'm Javed Abdelmunem and I'm an A&E doctor. I'm one of those medics that's been a bit skeptical about crash diets in the past. But over the years, I've been seeing more and more health problems to do with weight at a huge cost to the NHS. And so I'm really interested in any solutions. So I'm joining an expert team led by Professor Susan Jebb from Oxford University, a former government advisor on obesity, to run this groundbreaking experiment. You're effectively going to be our guinea pigs. Will our four volunteers lose weight in the long run? Thank you, but no. Please breathe in. And it's not just about their waistline. Crash diets have recently been used to treat weight-related health problems. Using a low-calorie diet, potentially we can reverse diabetes. So will our volunteers also see their health turned around? This is a controversial experiment, but if it delivers, we may all have to think again about crash diets. I'm not the only health professional with reservations about crash diets. I'm just looking here at the NHS website to see what they say about crash diets or what they call very low calorie diets. And it's not positive. Very low calorie diets may not be nutritionally complete. Most people tend to put the weight back on after coming off the diet. They are not routinely recommended by the NHS unless you've got a medical need like needing to lose weight for surgery. So I guess it's safe to say that crash diets currently don't have the NHS's wholehearted backing. Our four volunteers see a crash diet as their last hope. They're all obese and it's affecting their health. To get them off to the best start on their Hello. new diet, Good morning. Hi. How are you Hi. doing? I'm Javid. We're bringing them together to support each other in this house in Rochdale.